I texted my mom secretly. I was like, okay, can you call me right now? Oh my god, seriously? Hello. Hello. I'm Robin. I'm Shelly. And I'm Jen. So today we're trying something new where we get ready with you guys while we try on the same products for every single face. We got some Japanese <laughs> products for... So we have three products and we're going... No, to no, no, we have three faces. <laughs> we don't have three products. Okay, so Jen bought a few makeup products a few days ago. They're all Japanese from the yeah. Japanese department yeah. store. And we're going to try them out on all of our faces. On camera. So while we get ready. Exactly. And at the same time, we're going to share some not so great dating experiences just to spice things up and make it a bit more interesting for you guys to watch. So get hyped. <laughs> So in the morning before makeup, we would always get dressed first so we can tailor our makeup to our outfits and accessories. So today I'm wearing this off-white beige uh, summer dress that I got from Zara like I think a year ago. Um, it's more of like a girly cut with like this off-shoulder frill. So I chose to pair it with a more minimalistic necklace uh, and some simple studs. I'm wearing a matching crop top with cardigan. It's a cool beige color and I match that with gold accessories. I'm wearing the Cruise Talisman Huggy earrings and these are like slightly dangly. So I kept that simple on my neck, pairing that with a minimalistic T-bar necklace. For outfit, I'm wearing a office wear look with a white blouse and a neutral beige pants with a wide-legged fit. I really like the simplicity of this look and so the earrings stand out as sort of like a statement. I'm wearing the Nuria earrings with a pearl detail that I really like and a super minim minimal jewelry because I don't want to be overwhelmed with jewelry. So actually all of this jewelry is from Ana Luisa which is a brand that reached out to us and sent us these jewelry. I thought it was such a good timing because I was actually looking at their jewelry and I was about to buy this necklace. I just never got to it. And when they reached out to us, I was like, yay. Just like a disclaimer, we did the, get these products for free, but we were not paid to do this video. And we would never recommend a product that we would never wear. The reason why we chose to support Ana Luisa is because they prioritize sustainability. So all their jewelry is made in small batches made with clean, low-impact, recycled materials. If you check out their products, they indicate the sustainability element of each product. So these earrings are 100% sterling silver plated in 14K gold. And this product also highlights carbon neutrality. Ana Luisa offset 100% of carbon emission related to this product's life cycle. And, and they do plating in-house to ensure ethical work conditions. So they're using very good material because their gold jewelry is either gold plated, gold vermeil, or solid gold. Their silver jewelry is 100% recycled sterling silver. The pricing is actually quite fair, I think. The jewelry ranges from 39 US dollars to uh, higher for more higher end pieces. These pieces will also last you for a longer time than those fast fashion brands. So if you're interested in these pieces, we have a discount code ERA10 for 10% off. Just a disclaimer, we're not receiving any commission from this, so you don't have to use this code if you don't want to, but you do get 10% off, which makes a difference. Yeah, we'll link all of the products that we're wearing right now below. Oh my god, I don't think we have, we've gotten ready together in, so long. in a very long time. <laughs> we each prepped like a dating experience we wish just never happened. And we just wanted to like make this get ready with us kind of fun and share stories with you guys at the same time. Okay, so I've been with my current boyfriend for like seven years almost. Whoa, has it been almost seven years? Yeah, it's rounded up, it's ten. Huh? <laughs> okay, been that just long. round it up. <laughs> Yeah, it's been like almost seven years. So this was before seven years. So I was like technically a baby. This friend of a friend like wanted to, to, to go on a date with him. And so like, I didn't really know him, but I was like, okay, let's go. We were at a uh, cinema. And I still remember we were watching this Marvel movie. Which one? Can't remember. She couldn't even focus onto the movie. <laughs> Dude, Jen, you're covering your face half the time. <laughs> I can't see. The problem was that like, okay, so we had these really crazy thriller scenes and it was like getting scary. And I was scared because I'm a like, really scaredy cat. So, mm. so by the time that we got to those scenes, yeah. I like just... The action scenes. The action scenes and the gory scenes, I just did this. Like, I didn't want to see them. Whenever I did this, the guy would just like squeeze his pecs and like hug me as tight as he could Cringe. I was like, I don't even know you like I don't I we just met we did he remove no, yeah, the 
the you know how in cinemas they have like that armrest between the chairs did he flip that flip up how no. the hell is he reaching course, over like of this of course he didn't flip it up he didn't flip it up but he still did this how's that even possible that's so uncomfortable and and i just didn't feel like it was comforting at all i felt like it was like intrusive <laughs> disturbing <laughs> Like the the scene was scary, but the the action was even scarier. Yeah, yeah. I so, think you have to give like a disclaimer to people. Also, like at that time, you've never been in a relationship before, like in a serious long term relationship before. Did <laughs> did not count. Okay, you dated him for so a week. Funny. All you guys did was hold hands, so that doesn't count. Oh. But then, like yeah, like you've <laughs> never been like hugged. By a dude or whatever. It was just so out of the blue. Why did you agree to go to watch that movie with him? Because I felt like it was like a getting to know you better. But you were interested, right? Uh, like you were willing to get to know him. Yeah, I was. I wanted to get to know him, but I wasn't ready for that much yet. You were curious. And then I was really young, so mm-hmm. I didn't really know how to. Thinking back now, I would have told the person. I don't know. I I feel like I should have set my boundaries clearer. Um, instead of doing what I did, which is okay. So basically, what I did was, after he like you know, physically squeezed his pecs against my shoulder for two and a half hours, I oh my god moved him like I kind of I just didn't push him away either. I just like did it, right? And so we were supposed to have dinner together, but then I didn't want to have dinner with him because I felt like he was already way too way too forward for me to really get to know him and like him before. Like it just felt. Too wrong. aggressive. It just felt wrong. Yeah, I just didn't want to continue that day anymore. I texted my mom secretly. I was like, okay, can you call me right now? Oh my god, seriously? Yeah. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, can you call me? And my mom's like, okay. I think she called me. Mm-hmm. And then I picked up. And I was like, hi. Oh, you need me home now? Okay. Is everything okay? Da 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 da. Oh god. But my mom was like, what? On the other end of the phone. <laughs> oh god. And then I told him, I was like, okay, I can't. I can't meet you right now. Like, um, I have something that I have to go home to address. Mm. And I left. Dude, we have before dinner. What are you doing? It's okay. So we were supposed to try out these Japanese products that we got from Donkey, which is a department store that just opened in Hong Kong. Mm, and one of them is a brow product. And then Shelly just went and put on her normal brows. I was just like so like naturally just took yeah. my brow and I just. You were too comfortable. It. Yeah. Dude, I was too busy talking to Robin that my foundation dried on my face before I blended it out. Do you see? <laughs> It's so sad this now. Is, we're so bad at this. It's so hard to talk when I'm doing my makeup. Okay. You know what? Forget it. You guys can't see that this patchy, right? So, okay. <laughs> Y'all can't see my patchy brows as well. <laughs> okay, here. Do you want to do brows? This brow. So after I left, I never saw him again. Really. Never really. Like, at school, I would see him around. But then I wouldn't... I never talked to him ever again. I hope he's not watching Wait, this video. Like after that one time, you guys never even texted or anything after that. No. <gasps> yeah. So he knew. Yeah. So he knew that like I didn't want to be there. Ooh. Not the right guy. I feel like I wasn't mature enough to handle it like an adult. Yeah. Uh, looking back. But now, you know what? At least he was smart enough to get the message and not try to like push it further. Yeah. What do you mean? Like. It, I mean, it could have ended much worse. Yeah. I would have just not replied if he texted me more. Exactly, and that's much worse. Yeah. But eh, whatever, it's the same, because I haven't talked to him ever since. Is my brow not bad, right? Yeah. Not too chalky, you know? This is the Brow Lash X, and it's an eyebrow pencil and a powder. So yeah, there's like two sides. Okay, yeah. this eyeshadow is like really hard. <laughs> it doesn't blend. Really? <laughs> like, <laughs> Really? It's like drawing on an, a shadow liner. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Hey, but it looks good. I haven't heard her story yet. I swear I told you guys before. No way. Maybe no way know. that it happened no, and I didn't tell no, anyone. You, you have too many dating stories. <laughs> dating horror stories. So I do social dance, like Latin social dance. I don't know if anyone out there knows what bachata is, but Google it. It's like, it's like salsa, but slower and more sensual. Sensual. And basically, it's not sexual, okay? It's sensual. There is a difference. It's a partner dance, and usually the leader, so you, most most of the times as a dude, asks the follower, who is a girl, to dance. And you meet a lot of people because of that. And there was this dude that is older. He didn't look as old as um, like 
when I found out how old he was. Oh no. I'm pretty sure he's above, like maybe like almost 40, like mm. mid 30s maybe. Mm. Um, but he was really friendly. He was like a really friendly guy, and like most people on the in the dance community are really friendly as well. Yeah. I've met him like a few times on the dance floor, but somehow I don't know how he got my number, but I didn't give it to him. So he never asked me for my number. He probably got it from like the big group, yeah, like with like a hundred numbers in it, and somehow found my found my number. Yep. And then he just texted me when he was like hi, but then he like I don't even think he called me Jen. He was like hi Jane or something. Oh my god! And I was like, your name wrong. <laughs> And it was just all normal until one day I think he he tried to ask me out or he made a con he made a move and you know what I have to find this, I have to find the chat so it's more accurate. How's the shadow looking by the way? It's very splotchy. It's very subtle. But oh my god, he goes like yeah. hi Janet. Yeah. How are oh you? my god. Okay, he didn't call me Jane. He called me Janet by accident. Jeez. And he's like, haven't seen you these two weeks. Are you okay? I never replied to him. That was in October. And then in December he was like, hi Jenny. Which is also not my name. Did you well, know? No, I knew it was that guy. Oh. But I just, I don't know, it was, it was getting a bit. If I don't reply you, then you don't just keep messaging, exactly. right? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, like, I don't know. Basically, he goes like, "Oh, I'm leaving Hong Kong, blah blah blah." Um, and I, I thought that he was like leaving for vacation, but turns out he was leaving forever. And. He's like, oh, I'm going for an operation. I'm like, like in my head, I was like, is something okay? Are you okay? So I was like, operation? And he was like, I'm a surgeon. So he tried to like put in the fact that he's a surgeon and he's going to Australia to work for half a year. And he was like, I am really fond of you. Could we have a dinner on Saturday night? And then I said this, it's really nice dancing with you, but I have a boyfriend, haha. I don't think he'll be too happy about me having dinner with you. I'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday is where like the party usually happens, like the, the social dance thingy. I'll just, I'll see you on Wednesday. And then he goes like, oh, your boyfriend is so lucky. Whatever, keep in touch. And uh, could you tell me your Facebook? And I'm like, I haven't used Facebook in six years. And then- You didn't want to give him Facebook? No. I don't add anyone on Facebook anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, he just goes like, Dear, I am really crazy missing you. Could I offer you 5k for a romantic night with you? Oh my god! So, he basically just tried to pay me. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, was no. Like 10K, you know? Wait, when was this? Because you know how, like, Joyce and I, we used to joke about like, You know what, sugar daddy is not that bad of an idea, because I mean, someone's paying for you for everything you do. And then now that I actually got offered pay, I'm just like, nah, I don't want this. This is so disgusting. <laughs> when was this? <laughs> huh? When was this? This was uh, December. Oh my, so when, how did you reply? I didn't. He was like, can I did you offer you 5K? And I just never forget to reply to him. I think he got the message from there, right? And I, I didn't feel that bad not replying him because I knew he was leaving. So it's like, I never have to see him again anyways. Yeah. But dude. He clearly didn't care to know you or get to know you at all. Yeah. He didn't even know your name. Dude, yeah. <laughs> it was Janet and then Jenny the next minute. Yeah. Just... But Matt, like my boyfriend, thought it was really funny. So he told me to bargain with that guy and see how how high I could get him to pay me for that one night. I'm like, nah, let's not go there. <laughs> Wait, what was but it? It was 5,000 Hong Kong? It was 5,000 yeah, Hong Kong dollars. Take her! It's not really a horror story. It's just more like a funny story to look back on. Mm. And kind of like... Yeah, kind of shook. I was in a relationship where there was, it's a bit toxic. There were a lot of trust issues. And for a few years time, I was always really like concerned about whether I should trust this person, you know, and I always show, and I always saw these like, red flags and everything. Okay, there's, there was once when this girl texted me and was like, hi, I'm dating your boyfriend. Your boyfriend is cheating on you. All of our friends know except you. Oh my god. And I just god. want to let you know, and I don't want to have any harsh feelings or make you feel any worse, but this is what happened. With that Wait, when was this? Is this the time you were on vacation with him? No, 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 no that was two was... years before. Yeah. Two years before you were on vacation with him? Yeah, but I, I, I had no idea. So then, so then I just asked the guy, and the guy was like, no, that's not true. And then he even yelled at the girl on the phone and stuff and be like, what the fuck are you saying? That's not true. Blah, blah. So I was really confused. I was just confused. Like nothing, oh, there were no like proof for nothing to confirm me that it was true. Fast forward, fast forward to two years later, we were on a trip in Santorini. Just enjoying my time, you know, the beach, the sun, you know, it's, it's Santorini, it's Greece, it's really pretty over there. And then I was fixing his Wi-Fi and um, I managed to get into his phone because I was fixing his Wi-Fi in the settings. 
something in me told me to check his WhatsApp. And I clicked into the app, I searched up for the word cheat in the search engine and the word and then I found stuff that I shouldn't have read and I realized that what happened two years ago and what happened recently that I didn't know of that I didn't know of was all true. But it was still happening after two years. Mm. And I had no idea. And then um they're all shook. <laughs> yeah, dang. But we're we're shaking our heads. And then we found out shortly after. Yeah, even after reading the message, you know, it didn't really bother me that much. What? It just ruined your trip, man. You were Santorini. Because I wasn't surprised. I was like, okay, oh, finally. Okay. Maybe you an had that in your gut feeling. Yeah. I didn't want to ruin the trip for myself. And then I just continued on with the trip and I enjoyed my life. Where the hell did the, the thing go? What thing? The, the brush that it came out the book. Oh my god. That's a very horrifying story. Ours, is, ours were more like. But I feel like no. there were so much things that you, you didn't mention. Like, during the whole process of that girl finding you, it was just like a whole month or two months worth of like horror. Mm, Did you good. confront him about it afterwards? Mm hmm. What did he say? I confronted him through the phone because I didn't want to like. But after, after the Santorini thing though, you were there with him. I didn't confirm, I didn't tell him. Oh, so you just pretended like you didn't see it at all? Yeah. Nothing happened. Because I was like, f it, you know, I don't want to ruin my trip for myself. And I'll confront him when he leaves. And then after he left, I confronted him. He didn't admit. But you saw it. Like, how do you even not admit? I'm, I'm, I'm so confused how you cannot admit at that point in time. Wait, but you didn't tell him you saw it. You just, he just didn't admit it. I didn't tell him exactly what I read. But then I just said, I think I just saw messages about you. And uh, it, 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 it was a group chat with him and his friends. And they were talking about like the experience. Jeez, what? All his friends knew about it? It's Yo, he's got shit friends, man. Mm -hmm. But I mean... <gasps> his friends should be like, bro, what you're doing is not right. I'm not here to talk about it to bash on anyone. It has been long gone. I never talked about it with anyone or, you know, for Yeah, she's so not salty years. about it. I yeah, am I'm though. not salty about it. Like, Dude, as her friends, you really can't not be salty about that shit. <laughs> I'm not. I just let it go. I mean, if I let it go, if I don't let it go and I keep hating on it, like, it's just tiring for myself as that's well. true i've moved on i'm happy now you know so yeah so that's my story okay, you know what this i'm not happy with this eyeshadow and i'm going to use a bit of the blush as eyeshadow i'm not happy with the eyeshadow or the eyeliner are you using the pencil um, Dude, both. The, the i'm going to use both the liquid is better the i'm using the pencil really for tight line and the liquid for mm -hmm. The liquid is really good. I actually had that before, before the eyeliner. I don't use the eyeshadow. Either. And also the blush is really pigmented. I'm shook. Like usually Japanese makeup is very like subtle or whatever. Really? Yeah. Now it looks like a freaking monkey's ass. Really? I think my favorite color uh, out of the everything is the lip. The brow is not bad too. The brow is not bad. So what did you learn from your, from that experience? That to never take the red flags as it's nothing like if you really do sense like there is a red flag it's probably true so trust your instincts yeah trust your instincts for sure like, yeah i couldn't um, really let go mm, i think that's, you were dependent on him oh, emotionally I, I emotionally i was so i figured eventually i can't stay in this relationship it's not healthy you know i learned that people could offer you five thousand dollars for having a dinner with them uh, having a dinner. it's like not even dinner safe. or more wink yeah. It wouldn't be safe to go. Like, I think yeah. through this experience, you learned that there's a lot of different kind of people that you meet outside. Yeah, and all sorts of people out there. Yeah, I mean, you handled it well. You know? Really, I just never replied him. Well, I mean, yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I have a problem. Like, ghosting people is a real issue for me. I've been in relationships where before where I feel like I fell out of love with that person or just not like I'm not interested anymore mm -hmm. and I don't know how to tell that person and I just end up like slowly backing out of that relationship you know what I mean mm -hmm. like just slowly start responding less say oh I'm not free to hang out it's because you care about how that person feels and you don't want to hurt that person yeah but I think realistically I've like shit has happened before to the point where I realized like okay maybe it's sometimes better to be more direct with people and just say like yeah I was interested but I, I don't think I am anymore or okay not in that those exact words but at least say like at least tell them how you're feeling and why you're acting like that instead of just like not respond to them I really like this mascara by the way like 
I like brown. Hmm, interesting. I might start buying brown mascara. Dude, I think for you, you didn't. You also didn't want to confront that issue because you were also dependent on like it's like going home. Even though you're, you fell out of love with that person. Spending time with that person is like kind of comfort zone. No, but I don't even want to spend time with them. Do you remember? Uh, By the end of it. Went- no, 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 no. By the end of that, I was not even. I was really just trying to avoid that guy, and he would like give me presents or like tell say things to me that are like really sweet if you were in love with him. But for me, I just felt like, okay. yeah, like to the point where I felt like he was a bit clingy. But it could have just been me, you know what I mean? Because I want out and he wanted in, so I felt like he was clingy. But it could have just been like a normal. Re- I can't really remember. It was way too long ago. Yeah. I really did not handle that well. I just started like ghosting him and he broke up with me because he couldn't stand it anymore. You just gotta learn to be more like direct and confrontational, mm-hmm. but in the most respectful way possible. Yeah, because I have this problem where I can't say no to people. Um, especially- I really don't think you have that problem though. Really? You don't have it now at least. Yeah, now at least you don't. Yeah. I learned a lot from Tinder. Oh, I never used it. I mean, so I did, but I never really got anything out of it. How about the other ones like Bumble, Coffee and I've Bagel? I've never tried any of those. I heard Coffee and Bagel is for more like serious people though. I tried. So maybe that's better. Never got anything out of it. Really? Yeah, I felt it was weird and cringy. Oh yeah, we're done. Wait, are we done with our horror stories as well? Yeah. Well, I, we could seconds. think of more horror stories, but this video will be way too long, so... Could, we only have three horror stories. It's not even that horrific. I mean, Shelly's was pretty horrific, but... The rest of it was just like, bad... Not bad, but like, things that we just... Kind of cringe. I mean, most of my dating horror... Like, my dating pre-boyfriend dating was just like... Did you even go on a lot of dates? I feel like you just you were never that active in the dating scene. Yeah, I just wasn't even interested. Yeah. I just went for the sake of going. Like, I, I really wasn't interested. You were so interested sad. in one dude throughout high school and that was pretty much it. I think when I liked someone, you didn't I liked like them a for lot a long time. Of, yeah, but you don't go around liking a lot of people. Yeah. I don't either. Actually, the looks turned out not bad, right? Mm-hmm. We're wearing the same blush, same lipstick, same eyeshadow, same brow product, eyeliner, and mascara. I feel like it's really interesting because all of our looks look different, even with the same product. Just like slightly different. Yeah, slightly different. The lip is everyone's favorite. Yep. It's really good. The so Esprit something. Let us know if you want to see more of like r- related videos where we try on a certain type of product for all of us. And don't forget to check out Ana Luisa if you like the jewelry that we're wearing today. We have a 10% off discount code. It's ERA10. We'll put it down here. Um, A-E-R-A-10. Are we earning from this? No. No, we're no, not. We're not, we're not. It's just we're for you guys. Yeah. 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 So if you like this video, kindly give us a like. And if you have anything you want us to review or do, comment down below. You have to do your subscribe dance. Oh, and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>